But everyone says you've got to quit Facebook. Quit Facebook. Very noble thing to do, by the way. They're not a good company. But they're not the worst. That's the thing. Google, a thousand times worse than Facebook. A thousand times. And you can't quit Google. Where are you going to go? <laughs> Where are you going to go? Lycos dog is dead. Jeeves is in a home. Where are you going to go? That's what people say. Ever heard of Bing? <laughs> Ever heard of self-respect, mate? <laughs> Bing. I'd rather be dead than Bing anything. <laughs> no, Google. Google, most powerful entity of all time, Google. More powerful than any empire, any religion even. Everything that has ever been tied to Google is kept and it's monitored, it's observed and it's used. People find that creepy and I like it, to be honest. I find it comforting. I type secrets into Google just as so somebody knows them. <laughs> i got things I have to get off my chest. I have no one to turn to. So I open my laptop. I go, one time I couldn't find a bin so I put a pepperami wrapper in a baby's pram. I <laughs> can't. Can't tell a person that, but I tell Google, because Google's my friend. Google's my best friend, probably. It probably is. What is the thing you say about your best friend? What's the thing? We finish each other's sentences. <laughs> Google finishes our sentences. That is so much more fucked up than we give it credit for. It finished one of mine the other day. I had a problem. I typed into Google. I typed, how do, and it knew. It knew what the problem was because it was there. It was there when I was at Tesco. It was there when I was on Amazon. It knew what I bought. It figured it out. I said, how do? And it said, you get mustard stains off Crocs. Like, it knew. <laughs> it seems human, doesn't it, Google? It seems like it's alive, but it's not. It's something bigger now. It's something scarier. You can tell there's a couple of reasons, I think. First one, the home pages they have. Every so often, they'll have a special home page that celebrates something. But it's never anything a human being would celebrate. <laughs> Ever. It's never like 50 years since The Walkman, 100 years since Florence Nightingale. It's weird, specific stuff. <laughs> Happy 214th birthday, Edmund Spunt. <laughs> Who? <laughs> they're lethal company. How do you know they're lethal? How do you know? Because they're still advertising. Google are still advertising. What is your problem, Google? Who has slipped through the net in your eyes? <laughs> Who is watching an advert for Google going, Google? <laughs> Jeeves, is this true? <laughs> They're still advertising. Google are still advertising. Why? Who's their competition? Well, you've got to figure it out. Figure it out, because they make McDonald's, I'm not joking, look like a small family owned restaurant. <laughs> Hand on heart, because they own YouTube. That's the first thing you should know, they own YouTube. And I was on YouTube today, watching a video. And before the video, there was an advert for Google. <laughs> it was an advert. Hey, use Google. I was like, I'm fucking here. <laughs> I'm on Google. How much more can I give you? How much more of me do you want to fucking take? You've got it all, Google. You do my calendar. You take me around. You know my bank details. You've got pictures of my cock. How much more? <laughs> you want my soul? They do. It's not money they want. It's, it's something else. Because again, who's their competition? McDonald's has competition. Other places to get food, other places to get coffee. There's no competition for Google. But they advertise. Why? Because we're not doing this. 24 hours a day, we're not doing this. Any minute that we're not doing this, that is a problem. Google's competition is life. <laughs> Every time you look at your kids, someone at Google gets sacked. 